Hello and welcome in. I am Miss King One and we are back here in The Sims 4 and we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we are back working on an apartment. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I feel like after last week's kind of long, big, heavy kind of build, I wanted something a little bit more simple and a little bit easier to do. And also, I didn't have much time this week. So, I thought I'm probably be a perfect little one to do in here. So, we are actually doing number 121 Hawking House, which is in the fashion district, I believe, of San Machino. Um, I would have built my own apartments, but they're still really buggy with like for rent and like the rentable lots. They're still really buggy and it's not really a good idea to use them. Which is a shame, but I do actually quite like the apartments that we got with these. They are a little bit too big, really, for kind of normal gameplay. But this one we end up having as a two bedroom, two bathroom uh, apartment with a separate sort of office studio area. So it could easily become a three bedroom if that's what you want and um, obviously you would just need to take out like the bookshelves the computer and stuff you'll see all of that later on in to there but the family i had in mind for this was actually a single mum um who is a very successful kind of author um not really sure what kind of genre um that they are kind of into like what they write but i kind of wanted a really fun colourful apartment I feel like I've done a lot of sort of drab kind of beige builds and this is certainly not one of those um <laughs> you would have seen I did some feature walls pretty much every room has like a feature wall in it whether it is this kind of wooden um sort of backsplash kind of um I don't know like it's just wooden sort of panels put on the wall or the bright yellow kind of orangey kind of wallpaper paint i love that color um that sort of like really dark kind of mustardy yellowy kind of color um super loving at the moment um so yeah that's kind of what i wanted in here we've kind of got lots of yellows lots of dark woods but also a little bit of sort of softer woods just to lighten it all up a little bit in here and this flooring i i placed this floor down originally and then i kind of worked on the floor plan and i at this point i didn't really know um that when i was doing the flo flooring what kind of color scheme or who was going in here so it made it a little bit more interesting because i tried to tie it in a little bit I don't know. um but yeah that's kind of what we went for in here but i love this little apartment and um yeah it's super cute um and yeah I don't, I don't really know how else to explain it. it's a super cute little apartment but this is the kitchen so we have kind of an all-in-one room at the front here uh sort of kitchen diner and living area and um yeah we do actually have a separate dining table which is quite big it has six chairs on it um i'm not entirely sure if all of them are going to be usable um i did play test some of them with the same as that you'll see in the screenshots at the end um and i did test out the new uh, skin details as well um which look amazing um i have to be fair wasn't too aware of the condition beforehand um so it was kind of just like a stab in the dark and kind of what i was going to do um but i wanted to sort of check out how that will work and when i was creating the family for this i thought let's go in and do them it's been out a little while um but hey you know me i'm a little bit late <laughs> with all sorts of bits and pieces so at this point when we were going to um sort of do the whole build it was all going to be this sort of dark wood in here and it ties in really really nicely with the kitchen and everything like that and then this is the point where i was like you know what it's a little bit too dark and um this is a gallery artwork so it is done by uh cool cool sims um i will t put a link or their id down in the description as well and you'll see that at the end 
um, amazing artwork in, I think I used like six pieces of theirs um, in this one build. So, so happy with that. I think it's actually all one piece as well um, of like artwork. So it all works in really, really well. But yeah, going back to these dark colours, um, it just didn't really work for me. So I thought, let's change it out to the white. And then this is going to change as well. But this is going to end up being the sort of console, sort of built-in shelving that we have over here. And we get the matching bookshelf in here as well, which I think fits in perfectly well into there you can see it's slightly crossed over with the other bits but it works in there and then there's lots of, sort of puzzles and games and little knickknacks and stuff just to make this a really sort of homely kind of lived in kind of apartment and um yeah i really like it um in there and it kind of also takes away some of that brightness uh from this sort of feature wall it was a little bit like too bright and a little bit too bold so i kind of wanted to mute it all down but I do change the colour of the um, shelving that we have here into like a soft wood. And then I think we go back and change some chairs as well. So it all ties in to here as well. And then, yeah, trying to just link everything in with the colours. And super fun. Just trying to make it like a little bit more lived in and not so much of a show home. Um, I feel like I've done quite a few where they're either like really big builds or kind of very empty and I wanted somewhere where it feels really lived in and really kind of homely um so that's kind of what I wanted for this in here and uh yeah using a lot of kind of different packs that really work together strangely and I didn't necessarily think some of these would work together but um yeah it does all come together and obviously using that sort of yellowy orangey kind of colour as a base we do bring it all together into here so yeah this is where we decided that I liked that so far because it kind of fitted in with the colours and then I just needed to change every, all of like, the colours for this and then the chairs at the dining table I also change out a little bit so it's a little bit different into there and yeah it all comes together now this is something i find super cute love a little teddy on a chair um i don't necessarily know why it can't fit on there obviously that means that the chair is unusable but in my head there's only two sims actually living in here so it didn't really make too much sense that we had a huge sort of three-seater sofa and then another little chair and then yeah you don't need the other chair so i thought put a little tiger on there it fits over there with the little toys and it just kind of feels like maybe they've been playing with it and they've just popped it down on the little armchair in there which is super cute um but yes right we've jumped out of that room now this is the entrance hall area um i do actually extend it out slightly i was kind of umming and ahhing between what i wanted on that back wall like this back feature wall and i couldn't really find anything to go in there no it is popped forwards one so I wasn't sure whether I was going to put like maybe shelving or something in there, like archways into like bookshelves or something. But in the end, I actually just push it all back and make this a little bit bigger. It doesn't really do anything to the build, but it just kind of feels like it should work. Um, it's a little bit more open into there. As I say, I am denied about what to do with it in here, but it's a very simple little area. So some shoes. Uh, a little chair for putting your shoes on or um, waiting if you're waiting for somebody to get ready or something like that a nice sort of open entrance way into here and I didn't want to over clutter that space either because I felt like it needed to be a little bit more open and now this is the kind of art shoe so as I said at the beginning the person that was living here is an author like maybe a best-selling author or well renowned or maybe even a journalist something like that and I thought they needed their own little dedicated space so bringing in the dark wood that we used elsewhere high-end computer and uh, that bright wall kind of makes a really nice funky little area for their desk I would have liked it had the desk actually gone from like bookshelf to bookshelf um, unfortunately I couldn't smoosh the bookshelves together enough to make it 
kind of all fit together so there is a slight little gap but I could have you put in a like a custom desk with using like a shelf but I I wanted this one um, so that's kind of what I got in here and using a lot from the book nook kit which I love and I use all the time in here and uh, yeah getting that all smooshed together and loads and loads of books and kind of knickknacks and stuff like that in here for maybe somebody who works from home where they're writing and things like that and then I thought a little notice board on the back there where they can maybe have their inspiration or their ideas for the book sort of pinned up onto there that's kind of what I was thinking with that one and then a really cute little light next to it and um, yeah maybe a little snug kind of reading area where they can read like the um, copies of their books or have like a proofreader or something or little meetings or something like that I thought would be a perfect little space in here and some sort of book covers that's kind of what I think they are I, th I think that's what they're supposed to be anyway kind of little book covers of the work I, I don't know um, at least that's what in my head that's what they are and a little piano um, I felt like that was a little bit of an empty dead wall so I thought a nice little piano in there worked out really, really well. And then this is the main bedroom at the sort of back of the house in here. It does have an ensuite. Um, I do show you the main bathroom, not this ensuite. Um, I didn't actually record it. <laughs> Simply put, I just didn't record it in there. And it was only when I looked back at how much I had and thought, hmm, let's go and record the bathroom um, that I thought, let's do that just to extend this out a little bit because it's very very quick in here so yeah um this bedroom pretty simple using a lot of for rent i think that pack works out really well with like the color scheme and stuff so this one here sort of very dark woods but also a little bit of sort of yellow in the pillows and the throw and stuff on the bottom here as well which i'm super happy for and i am slowly but surely remembering we have light switches in this game so I went through and placed them kind of everywhere. Um, so every sort of door has a light switch on it and then also to by the bed so that you can put the sort of lights on when you wake up in the morning or at least maybe like those ones that are next to the bed and kind of like a bedside table kind of light area rather than a sort of a main light kind of area. And I tried to get as much yellow in this room as I possibly could. Um, I didn't have like a yellow feature wall, but I did kind of want um, some more sort of colour coming through. So we have a nice little chair here uh, with some plants by the big sort of picture windows, overlooking kind of the parky kind of areas um, in this build. And then a gorgeous nice big rug in here, very sort of bright uh, kind of beigey kind of colour in there. And that is then um, onto the little bedroom, which this is what took most of the video uh, or most of the recording. I really struggled with an idea for this bedroom. Um, I did think maybe at first we could get twins in, um, but it just didn't really work because I didn't have too much like play sort of toys around the place as well. And it kind of would have meant that there would have been no kind of fun activities for them. And so in the end we kind of change it out and just have a sort of single bed in here and then using um, kind of these gorgeous wooden sort of uh, pieces. I think they're from high school uh, and I think it's a university bed as well. Um, in there just lots of sort of kid colour coming in here and also we now have that sort of wooden cardboard um, doll's house which I love. And it also has like a nice orangey yellowy swatch, which I thought was perfect for this build into here. And then lots of sort of crafting sort of stuff on the desk. And I do also put out the homework and a little journal -y kind of a book from Parenthood in there as well. And then I wanted something on this wall um, because I think all of the others were kind of a little bit just like plain walls. So I've put these little trees in here and we do kind of smoosh them together to make it look a little bit more kind of forestry and stuff like that and uh yeah that's kind of the little bedroom done in here for the kid so um now we're on to the bathroom coming very very quickly with this build 
end here. So as I say, the main bedroom has an ensuite and then this one is really just for the kid, but maybe for like any sort of guests or something that just need to pop into the loo. It has a shower and a bath um, because it was pretty big. Um, I could have cut it down, but really didn't really see much of a need to do that. I thought we'd have a nice luxury sort of bathroom in here and sort of bringing in some greens and yellows um, that we've used everywhere. And my little toy duck. I went through a huge phase a couple of years ago where like every build had to have a little duck in it. Um, I don't do that so much now, but yeah, I thought why not put a little duck in here? Just to, uh, as I say, to kind of make it like the kids bedroom, um, bathroom in here as well. And then a little bit of clutter when it comes to the sort of sink area in here as well but we're very quickly coming up to the end of this video if you have enjoyed it then please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below and um yeah you can subscribe to my channel uh, you all mean so very very much to me and i look forward to seeing you all again very very soon but until then i will leave you here bye everyone